You can create a shallow depth of field in Photoshop using the iris blur filter and I will show you how. This is the before and after. In order to understand how to apply the iris blur properly, you need to understand how the shallow depth of field and the blur work in real life when photographing. And this is a very quick example where you take a shot from the front of the model and focus on her eyes. So if you point the camera in this angle, you will have a focal plane which is always perpendicular to this axis. So depending on the aperture that you're using, you will have a shallow depth of field or a larger depth of field. The main thing to remember is this, if you have a shallow depth of field and you focus the camera on her eyes, then in this case, also part of her nose will be in focus, the face and the mouth, but also the neck and parts of the chest. In the same time, the tip of the nose could be blurry due to this shallow depth of field. So depending on the aperture and the angle of shooting, you always need to consider what is the focal plane and what parts of the subject will be in focus. And going back to the main image, I want to simulate a very shallow depth of field. So obviously, I will imagine that I'm focusing on the right eye because that is the closest to me or to the camera. What will I have in focus in this case besides the eye? Some parts of the flowers and also some parts of the dress. And I mark these areas with orange so you can see them better. Okay, so let's delete this layer. I will duplicate the main image with Ctrl plus J, rename the bottom one to before, and the one from above to after. This is only to show you the results after applying the effect. I'm gonna convert this image into a smart object because this way I can always tweak any effect that I apply on this layer. If I will not convert the layer into a smart object and I apply a specific effect to it, then I can only use the undo command, which is limited. So with this smart object layer, I go to filter, blur gallery, and choose iris blur. You can see this ellipse, which represents the outer boundary of the blur effect. I'm gonna increase the blur to 70, just to make it easier for you to see and understand. You can control the blur area in different ways. For example, I can use these white points to change the shape however I want. I can also position the mouse exactly on the outline of the effect and scale the effect up or down. If I click and drag the center point, I can move the whole effect in a different area. The intensity of the blur is zero at this center point and also zero until these white small circles that can be dragged together in a group or if I press Alt, I can control each of them separately. The blur effect is at full power when reaching this outline. And between these bigger white points and the outline, the blur will be applied gradually. When the distance between one of the control points and the outline is bigger, the blur effect will be applied very gradually and softly. However, if the distance between them is small, then the blur will be rough. So I hope my explanation was simple enough, but if you have questions, just make sure you drop them in the comments below. So I will drag the center of the iris blur and position it on her right eye. Also, I readjust the shape of the effect using the control points and you can see already that her left eye has a bit of blur, which is exactly what I want. But for the right side, I will hold the Alt and reposition this control point somewhere around the ear and move this point upwards as well. I try to think where the focal point is and decide which areas need less or more blur. Obviously, the effect is exaggerated right now, but when you bring down the value to 35, for example, it looks much better, much natural, but we're not finished yet. So let's bring it back to 70 because it's much easier to adjust things like this. And then in the final stage, we'll make it look more natural. So let's move on and add a new point in the flowers area, which I'm gonna adjust faster this time because I already explained some of the steps. So I'm trying to imagine where the focal plane is again keep the center part of the flowers in focus and blur the front and back areas. The third iris blur point will be placed here on the small part of the dress. And this time I need to make sure that her back is also blurred a bit because that part right there is more in the back as a focal plane, so it should be blurred. And I'm adjusting this holding Alt 
and moving that control point individually. So now I can just lower the amount of the blur from 70 to 30, and I think it looks awesome. What do you think? Let's press OK here at the top, and let me show you a before and after, because I personally like it so much. In fact, let me show you the results in full screen. Here is the before with that blurred background, and here is the after. You should try this effect because you could obtain some natural results. And if you love this Photoshop tutorial, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy another one from the screen. I'm Chris, smash the like, and see you in the next one.